Oh boy, look at you. You are so handsome. And that only took like four months. Hello everyone, and welcome to Shingeki no Craft 2.1.3, a milestone mastery update for Minecraft 1.20.5. In this video, we will be covering the most important parts of the changelog, so you can get a better overlook about what's new. It took so long, I know, but as you will see, the wait was worth it. Let's begin. Nature-generated villages are surrounded by a wall to prevent attacks from titans. Now, they also have a custom name instead of the generic one. Updated Intro The first message you get when you install Shingeki no Craft. Allow me to re-enter my world so we can take a look. I get my gender selector and I'll just start collecting some wood just like a regular new player. Eventually, you will get this mysterious book, A Guide. We'll get more into it later on this video. Added a new API function, all items. At this moment of time and space, there is not an official support for custom items. They don't appear in creative mode. Use this command to spawn a series of chests that contains all the items of Shingeki no Craft. Added a new item, Shingeki no Craft Config. Added new items, Shifter Spawn X. Added custom and BT crafting. You can now see the item you are crafting. Your titans can break natural blocks. I mean, you can already see why this is so scary. Better build defense with stun now. That's why added a config to enable pure titans destruction. We worked pure titans spawning system. Picks are back. On performance, we have a huge change on the number of entities Shingeki no Craft was reading. Hostile mobs have been removed from the config. Instead, I created a script to enable and disable mob spawning as you desire. Let's see a quick tutorial on how to enable mob spawning. First, we go into our data packs folder inside of our world file. Unzip Shingeki no Craft and wait. Once finished, we can delete the old one and open the folder. Now follow this exact path. Data SNC Scripts Public Add or remove hostile mobs Execute this Java file. Select the mobs you want to enable. In my case, I will enable zombies and skeletons. Click on Generate and Done. Make sure to reopen your world in order the changes to take effect. Let's see if it worked. As you can see, selected mobs are spawning now. This also means that you can spawn almost any mob without modifying the resource pack. Updated Colossal Titan Explosion You can check the comparison between the old one and the new one on this video. Added Explosion when transforming for all the shifters. Sneak while using a sharp object to toggle between transform or explosion. The explosion value will increase if you have the Colossal Titans passive. Added Energy System Transforming using the explosion and using abilities consumes your energy. When a shifter gets out of energy, it gets ejected. 
it provides a bigger pool of options that you can make like using multiple transformations and a better risk reward when fighting. The energy bar is divided in three sections. You can transform when it's higher than the first section. You can explode when it's higher than the second section. The third section is just the max. Use the remove shifter on your offhand to instantly evaporate your titan. This consumes a small portion of your energy compared to just leaving your body behind. Added a new mechanic. Guys. Forget about looking up crafting recipes on external sites like YouTube or the wiki. Everything you need to know to progress in Shingeki no Craft is right here now. This mechanic is designed to help both new and veteran players better understand the core mechanics of Shingeki no Craft. I won't reveal all of them here to avoid potential spoilers, but know that you will unlock them as you complete certain advancements. For example, if I give myself the card titan, it will trigger its advancement, I then receive the card titan's guide, which contains the recipes for its shipload. Speaking of which, the card titan has received a small rework. It doesn't have its turrets by default anymore. Instead, you need to craft them using a wrench. Now, there are two types of payloads, the turrets and the barrels. To switch between them, just right-click as the car tighten. When you dismount, the current payload will fall to the ground. When you have the barrels, you can sneak to access your items. This would be useful for traveling long distances. There's another experimental change. You can actually stand on top of the car titan, even as a shifter. On more technical changes, we have that all titans, including shifters, have been moved to the new scale attribute, added in Minecraft 1.20.5. Does this affect the player's gameplay? In principle, not that much. It should just feel better and less clunky. However, there is a major improvement for shifters that you might not have noticed until now. The third person view now scales with the player size, meaning that the mod Pekui is no longer required for the best experience. Thanks, Pekui! As I mentioned, it gets complicated to explain what exactly changed. Just keep in mind that Shingeki no Craft now uses far fewer entities in general. And that's it for now. I hope you're excited about all the new features this update brings to the table. Sturdy, but not quite as sturdy as the armor of the Armor Titan. Click here to see how is the progress going for the next update. Take care everyone.